Would you do 20 if I bought three posters? Which ones? Would you take five for your scale? Yeah. All right. Five. Thank you. Okay. He uh, oh. said five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. I appreciate oh, you. Okay. Good luck yeah, with the sale. My, uh, it's a cool one. Yeah, it is the answer. Uncle who was born in 1899. Yeah. I don't know when, when he bought that, but uh, you know. So cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice, nice little flip there. Right? Yeah. yeah have a good one, man. You too, man. Good luck to you. Morning. Hey, good morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing well, thanks. It's an air purifier. It's from the rainbow system. Yeah. Um, so, it, and it works nice. You just put, you can put scented oils. Are you familiar with the rainbow vacuuming system? Yeah, water? I've seen these rain mace before. Yeah. What are you asking for it? Um, $15. 15 dollars. 15 bucks? I paperwork on it. Okay. Or, you know, I mean, if you feel like something different, that's fine too. Would you do 10? Mm -hmm. Okay. There Thank you go. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. What I like about what we like here back in Paraguay, I like it. They give opportunity also to people. Um, their salaries are very good. You make them work, but they are very good. Yeah. They are even better than the big company. Yep. Yeah, they are. The lady told me one time that she was making like $12 an hour when she said, I'm like, and this was like six years ago. I'm like, I was making like less than an hour. Like, that's embarrassing. Yeah. I like the Home Depot, I think. <laughs> Thank you. My neighbor, she sent me up with the Home Depot. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? Very good. I Thank almost you. bought this in Virgin Table, but it was a little bit too expensive to buy and flip to make any money on. But if you can find these out in the wild for around 30 bucks and under, it might be worth your time. You usually get uh, 75 to $100 used for these. Would you do 20 if I bought three posters? Which ones? Uh, Concepcion, Bash Brothers, and the Robert Williams. Can I have on 30? Uh, yeah, a total of 30. I'll meet me in the middle at 25? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. What'd you get? Uh, what'd you get? Uh, uh, Bash Brothers, Davey, and the uh, Robert Williams. Bash Brothers? Oh, one of yours. Thank you. All right, you know what? I've got tubes. Do you want tubes? Sure, if you got them, that'd be great. Thank you so much. What's going on, guys? It is Wednesday morning on Friday. I went to a handful of garage sales, found a lot of stuff. I'm just now getting around to shooting the end of this video. I've been finding a sinus infection, just haven't been feeling really good. But the few things I did find that day, I went ahead and pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. So it was honestly pretty slim pickings that day. I did not find a bunch of stuff. One of the first sales of the day, I was lucky enough to find this Fairbanks scale. And most of the time, these old scales, you don't find um, this little attachment right here. I don't know if you call it a bucket or whatever, but really cool piece. It's got some rust to it, but I mean, for the age, what do you expect? I think originally it came with more than one weight. I paid $5 for it, and right as I picked it up, somebody else at the sale was kind of like right behind me, like seeing if I was going to buy it or not. 
And then when I left, he was like, yeah, I was going to buy that if you didn't buy it. So I got there at the right time for that one. I couldn't find a lot of good um, sale comps on eBay for this thing. Uh, I found a few that were similar. Some that were like really clean, good condition, like $100 and up. Mine's pretty rusty. I mean, realistically, it's probably worth about 40 or 50 bucks. Um, just something cool for somebody to put on the shelf. Just a really neat antique piece. Got this little uh, N5 Studio Fix Fluid. Um, I don't honestly don't even know what this is. This is some kind of makeup. It has like an SPF protection. I paid a buck for it. It's all the same one selling for $20 free shipping. Got this little Rainmate IL. I have not found one of these in quite some time. This one is really clean and I thought they were worth about $25 or $30, but it looks like they're going for about $40 to $50. Bucks. So I paid $10 for that. So definitely a good find. Last thing I found on the day is three posters. They had $10 each on them. I offered $20 for three. They came back with $25. I didn't roll them out um, at the sale. They had like little sheets of paper, uh, like photocopies of what the images were. So I, I knew kind of what it was. Um, one is a Dave Concepcion poster. Instead of unrolling it, I'll just show a, a picture. And then uh, the other was the Bash Brothers, Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire from 1988. This is by um, Kostakis Brothers. If you guys can see this, it's C-O-S-T-A-C-O-S, -C Kostakos Brothers. Those posters can have some really good value. They made a ton of different posters in the 80s and 90s, and they're coming back big time in popularity, so definitely keep an eye out for those. Dave Concepcion, I might just keep. Uh, it's worth about 30, 40 bucks. The Bash Brothers one, prices are kind of all over the board. This is the original 1988. I think it's worth about 50 bucks, something like that. This one right here, I didn't realize it when I bought it, but it's got like uh, some adult themes in it, I will say. So I'm not going to be showing images of that. If I do, I'll just show the picture and then blur out the um, whatever nudity is on there. But yeah, kind of a risque poster there. Didn't realize it. I doubt I can put this on eBay, but it is a pretty unique poster. It's got a cool look to it and it has some value too. Uh, my friends over at the Mojo Casher channel, I sent them a picture of it and it just goes perfectly with their motif. Uh, very cool, interesting out there. Uh, just a wild poster, so they're going to buy that one. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.